There's nothing I wouldn't do to save this world. No depth I won't explore. Hi there. My name is Joris Saman and I'm a composer of video games, animation and film. And today I'll be talking about Aloy's theme for Rise of Forbidden West, a AAA game for Sony's PlayStation 4 and 5 which was released this February and is a follow-up to the hit game Horizon Zero Dawn which sold over 20 million copies. Developed by Dutch games company Guerrilla Games and published by Sony Interactive Entertainment, Horizon Zero Dawn was released in 2017, and this new theme is a variation on the original main theme, which was first heard in the announcement trailer that was shown at E3, a major games expo held in Los Angeles. And in their place came new life. The story is about Aloy, a young hunter who lives in an era where machines roam the land and mankind is no longer the dominant species. We've always shared it. Their dominion over the new wilderness has been usurped by the machines, fearsome mechanical creatures of unknown origin. The theme I'm discussing today is used in the main menu of Horizon Forbidden West, one of the first screens a player will see, where they can start a new game or continue an existing one, or adjust settings. Though visually main menus can be simple, they're an important place to set the mood and style of the game, and an excellent way to establish a theme and musical identity that can be reused throughout the game. I initially wrote a suite with a melody that I thought could be the new main theme for the game, but after discussion with the audio team, we realised it deviated too much from the original theme that gamers knew and loved and we settled on an idea of Aloy's theme 1.5. Not entirely new, but taking the melody and vocal line we loved and dressing it up in a way that reflected the mood and style of the new game. The main menu itself is quite simple, with a shot of the beach overgrown with the blight a red ivy-like weed that serves as a major plot point in the game. I wanted to translate that idea of the blight into an instrument, so I started with a soft piano sound and mangled it with a plugin called Lossy that emulates a broken up phone signal, suggesting that this familiar instrument had also been blighted by the weed and was now more like a decaying memory of itself. Some of the suite I wrote was repurposed into an in-game track, which is used for Sony's State of Play video, a preview event where people can catch a sneak peek of upcoming games. There was a five-hour countdown for the event, where this music played, and the music got a very positive reception from the players. So I decided to incorporate some of the sounds into the intro of this theme. The previous version of Aloy's theme from Horizon Zero Dawn had a much different vibe that highlighted the beauty of the world and Aloy is an emerging, strong protagonist who faces challenges head-on. In Horizon Forbidden West, however, we come to see that all is not well in Aloy's world. Bigger challenges lie ahead and new relationships need to be formed. As such, I wanted the music to have a somewhat sadder and more melancholic tone. Though I kept the same melody, I changed some of the chords and bass notes to take it into a different direction.
The game also starts with a guitar based song, and as such, I wanted to retain that sound by using some guitar myself. The guitar here is used in many different ways single chords, muted picking, and once things kick off, strummed chords. In addition, I also added a favourite of Horizon Zero Dawn, Plectrum Picked Violin, to add some more organic elements to this mix. Another element that became more featured in Horizon Forbidden West was the use of synths for either chords, distant lead sounds or arpeggios. We didn't want this to sound too modern, so we leaned more towards vintage sounds as used by people like Vangelis. Diva, a synth made by German developer Huey, featured heavily and was excellent for arpeggios and bass sounds. The arpeggio sound was treated with a phaser and harsh panning to give it a very wide panning effect. And this is the old Thai flute. Um, and it's actually a little bit broken, but if you blow it really softly in this blowhole here, um, it gets a really interesting texture. And it's blowing it almost so softly, it, doesn't, it barely produces a sound. And we put that in Omnisphere to create a really interesting texture. With the palette of sounds we used in Horizon, we always tried to walk the line between organic origins and synthesized or treated sounds. One sound I used a lot is a pad I made from a Thai flute I recorded. I blowed it very, very softly, so it was nearly all breath with a slightly tonal element, and imported it into Spectrosonic's Omnisphere. I layered and granulated two of them, and it works well to provide an ever-moving and evolving background texture that feels really organic. Once I had a better idea of all the various instruments and elements I was going to use, it was time to settle on the main theme. I worked it out first on the piano, then arranged it for strings, and we finally recorded the 10 players at the illustrious Empire Studios in London. Finally, no main theme for Horizon would be complete without the vocal talents of Julie Alvin. She sang on the original piece, and I ended up reusing her same vocals for this new version, Halo 1.5. The final piece of music draws in all these elements to entice the player to set off on a gaming journey that they'll hopefully never forget.